Welcome back to part two of the show and welcome in this case to the seaside. I'm here in western France at the little town of Cap Ferret. It's a holiday resort just down the road from Bordeaux. Very posh it is too, but not quite as posh as the place I'm about to visit. It's just a couple of hundred meters up the road. It's called Hedonic and these guys make some exceptional looking motorcycles. Hedonic has grown out of an established business run by Serge Eitz, who made a name for himself in the world of classic Porsches. If you want to find yourself an older Porsche, then he is the man to talk to. But over the years, this passion for the combustion engine has led to him doing much, much more than merely sourcing the cars, as Laura Gautier explains. We are taking classic cars from the 1950s and uh, restoring to last bolt. So we, we just put everything apart and our craftsmen in the workshops redo it to the client's demands. So we have unlimited possibilities to upgrade the car and um, put any options possible. Actually, we have two types of clients. Uh, the clients who want the original car like it was out of the factory, but better because we have technologies today that they didn't have back in the times. Um, or they can ask for, which is more or less the trend right now, for an upgraded car, like um, the car out of the factory, but with options that can make you know driving easier day by day. Um, for example, like with the disc brakes, um, with, um, well, we, we can do, we can do anything. Fluent in German as well as French, Serge's English doesn't flow quite as easily, so he lets his staff do the talking. Helping us learn what hedonic bikes are all about is Gabriel Mulema, who has only been with the company for a year to help build the hedonic brand, but as a biker himself, is clearly bursting with the same passion as his boss. They're all like very particular and they look very massive, very impressive. Like, I guess I'm looking like quite small <laughs> in front of this motorbike because that's um, the hedonic look. And there is also some other characteristic elements, um, the aluminum and the unmade pieces of aluminum. Uh, you can see also the black cross in the front light. Uh, those big scramble uh, tires and um, there are also some uh, braided metal I don't know if you can see those details so those are all characteristic of the hedonic look all come from Serge mind who say oh I have an idea, an idea it could be nice to do that or that oh I have an idea something could be nice and then he was like if we have a bright line and fuel tank that will do the RPM so it just and then he get, it, he get in touch with all workers uh, and then they say, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> the idea of the bright line is like, uh, you have to contextualize it. Imagine you're like rolling uh, on the road at night and then you're getting, you're pushing some gas and then you start it to be like fully like bright and it's pretty nice, pretty nice. The donor bike are triumphs, but we only keep the frame, uh, the engine, and sometimes the fuel tank and the whole other part are completely recreated. So uh, it's the base, but only the base. Actually, we are working uh, with, um, uh, with specialist uh, uh, workers in each domain, and they are working for us for the motorbike, but they are also working for the cars or even for that chair, uh, as I told you, which is in, uh, in aluminium. So there are, each one have his speciality. Always French, yeah, that's uh, the specificity of Edonic is that it's a French brand and uh, everything that we do is doing, is did in France, is made in France, sorry. The most uh, work on those bike is about metal work and, and crafted pieces. So uh, I guess more than 100 hours of, of handwork is done by, uh, by her, her workers. It's uh, absolutely crazy. I, I feel like it's more, it, not more, but it's like real piece of art, not only a motorbike. 
Hopper, sorry. Yeah, uh, it is a, a specific skills that we have here in Edonic because we need that for uh, the cars, we need that for the bikes, we need that for uh, many stuff. So uh, the leader uh, of the seat is made by uh, uh, by our by our worker, and it's specific to each uh, motorbike. And sometimes the seat is designed by uh, a, a certain brand designer or something. We do a lot of collaboration too with the seat. So it's each seat is unique. You can see on the early, uh, the, this one I've been like <laughs> pretty much custom. Those one are called Neos. Those one are called amazing. Uh, but actually Neos, we've made like uh, nine or ten of them. Amazing, only one, and the Stardust, only one, also. Um, but so uh, for having seen uh, the Neo crude in the cafe here, I can ensure you that if you're on it, like. <laughs> <laughs> Your pleasure is done. <laughs> so I really love the Neo, this really massive impression that you have uh, when you're riding it. But on the aesthetical part, this one is like um, absolute beauty, absolute beauty. The bikes are not made specifically for each customer, even though each bike is unique. Uh, unique, sorry. But the process can be a bit mixed. Uh, the customers see a bike, it's already sold, but it can like influence a bit the, the next one. Edonic is like a concept of a personalization and bespoke vehicle. So it can be for every vehicle, it can be for car, it can be for motorbike, but it can also be for electric bike or some small stuff. So Edonic is not only about cars or about motorbikes. It's like a more lifestyle brand. I do love the bikes out of the business. <laughs> I would take this one, the black one. <laughs> I love it. I love it because, uh, I mean, it's really sober and, uh, you know, I like the shape of it and the technology on it. Can't argue with that. They are very good looking bikes. The big chunky wheel look is definitely something of a craze in Europe these days. Understandable, I suppose, as a fashionable runaround, it undoubtedly grabs the attention. I will, however, have to get myself a ride on one at some point because I'm intrigued as to how the ride and handling is affected. Hedonic is pursuing the same kind of proudly homegrown vibe as Bax Motocyclette, who we had on the show recently. French artisans in leather, metalwork and fabrication giving a new French identity to distinctly British and American bikes. Having said that, this is the only time I've ever visited a bike emporium and fantasised about leaving with a car. Both his two and four wheelers are desirable, but those Porsches, oof, lovely. <laughs>